Hello, January 2022. Today I would like to give you a little overview what's coming in this month. The first thing is choosing your emotions. As I mentioned earlier in the more general overview for 2022, that has something to do with feelings, emotions and attitudes. We can keep the old, but we also have a very good chance to changing it into something new. And when we do that, it can be easygoing, lighthearted and uplifted and set a keynote for the rest of the year. In general, there's also um, a tendency for feeling stronger and having an opportunity to healing and also healing all woundedness. Financially, it can be a great month to get and receive. If we do not have perceptions of this is not good enough or that is not good enough on top of it, that means sometimes we have an influence of our own perceptions laying on top of the reality what the universe wants to give us. So give yourself permission to have a receiving mode this month. In regard of relationships, whether it's romantic or relationships in general, it is important to not let deception or self-deception overlay our feel of love. Certain things will come into our view in regard of relationships which are destined relationships. And these destined relationships can be in work, romance, but there's a lot of coming together of people who are meant to entangle in interaction. Also, it is a great months for starting something new when you are the type who wants to be in the lead. If you do not refrain yourself from feeling like, oh, I have to run after other people's dramas, I have to run after other people's ideas. Understanding you could take also your own lead. There's always a choice, but January can support the energy of leadership. Also January of 2022 will support clear thinking, clarity of thought, clarity of new ideas, and winning scenarios of businesses who are started this year in January of 2022. If you plan on opening a business, um, this whatever you put in motion as a seedling right now, might bear good fruit. It is definitely well aspected. For some people, it might be a good start also to clear uh, family karma or clear family patterns or clear family perceptions out of their mind. But it's a good feel also for a to cultivate a family feeling, a family sense in a maybe different way than you used to. It is a possibility to also start and attract harmonious relationships. So for some of us, we will have a sense, yes, this year can be great. I can have it all. I can have a synergistic relationship, enough money, good emotions, clear business sense, and a good focus for life. So at the end of the month, watch who's trying to influence you at the very end of the month. There might be energetically a pushover scenario for emotional feel. In general though, it should be a very blessed feeling that you're having in the last week of January. And then at the end of January, going into February, there is also a very new momentum for finances. So at the very end of January, there is a possible split from away from an old job, going into a new one and, or doing two things, having your regular job and starting your business, that would also be very well aspected. In further tenancy specifically, for some women, it is important 
when you are a business woman, to have a very good attitude in regard of your finances and give yourself permission also to receive. Otherwise, you make your past more complicated than necessary. For such business women, it is important to keep being flexible in this month and to look out also for people who could help you, who would be a positive asset so that you do not have to do everything by yourself. I can see here that young uh, people might offer their help younger than yourself, but also um, do not fear competition from the male corner uh, of the universe. Do not let yourself being button pushed. In general, it is a good business month for all genders and for everybody who wants to do business. It can really set the tone for the year of receiving more, expanding into more arenas, expanding your business per se. So a good month overall. I hope you enjoyed this tiny little tidbit into January's energies. Till next month.